Hello there, I am updating my outfits and how to dye them guide as we have a totally new UI and they've also added weapons into the outfitter as of update 7.0.2. So I'm going to show you like where to get outfits, how to dye them, what is a stamp dye, how do you unify colors, all of that will be explained. So first thing you need an outfit. Um, you can get them through questing, just the gear. Uh, vendors have them, you can craft them from Cartel Market or the um, Galactic Trade Network. You can uh, buy outfits there. So this is a crafted set of armor um, that I made on another character. So if you want to preview any outfit, um, you control left click and then you can see each piece is getting added and that is what the armor set looks like. If you want to link um, a piece of gear in chat, um, you open the chat text box and then shift left click. And so I could click all of these and then someone could control left click on the text to be able to preview that item on their character. So just a quick note there. So once you've acquired the outfit that you want to use, there's a couple things to keep in mind. Um, a lot of outfits are in the collections. You can go to the golden one, cartel market, go down to collections. So a lot of outfits are here, uh, but not all of them. Crafted ones are not here. Um, probably a lot of gear that drops and some um, other outfits are not there. But all the cartel market ones are on here as well as some others. I'm not sure if there's a rhyme or reason to that. Um, but if an outfit is in the collections menu, I'll go to collected. So a lot of these I have on different characters, but they are not legacy unlocked, so it's only on that character. So if you buy an outfit, it, it gets bound to the character that equips it. Um, so this gear here, I crafted it and it says binds on equip. So when I equip this, it'll give me a warning. Do you want to bind it? I'll put yes. And so I actually equipped it not to my outfit, but to my actual gear. Um, and because the stats are lower, I'm going to take it off. But now it says, you can see it says bound. So now it is bound to this character. So if I wanted this armor on another character, I'd have to craft another, another one. Um, some gear gets bound to legacy. And that's often event items um, will get bound to legacy. And that means you can switch it between characters by putting it in your legacy bank. Um, cartel market items that are in the collections or any armor in collections, you can add it, you can legacy unlock it. So instead of being only on the one character, it, it can now be on all of your characters. So for example, Kraya's armor set, I'll click um, purchase this ability for all characters. So it does have a cartel um, coin cost to unlock it, but then all my characters can get that armor set. And once an armor set is available, um, the like the covert energy armor set, I have that legacy unlocked, so all my characters can use it. I can click on any of my characters, transfer a copy of this to my inventory, and then it'll um, put that into my inventory. I can do that multiple times. I just have access to that item whenever I want it on any of my characters. Now, if an item is bound to, um, if it's not legacy unlocked, but it is bound to your one character and in collections, that one character can make duplicates of it. So if you want two lightsabers, um, and so you could buy one, duplicate it, and now you have two. So that's how to acquire and change items between um, characters if they are unlocked for legacy. Now, how to use the outfitter is you want to open your character screen. 
go over to Outfitter. You start with, I think, maybe one or two outfit slots and extra outfit slots. If I think if you're subscribed, you can buy with coins or uh, credits. Um, and you can also use cartel coins. I would suggest just using credits. Uh, they're not worth the, the cartel coins. So you can get up to 16 outfit slots. And if you want just your gear showing, you can click this button, show gear as outfit. And that's just whatever you have equipped in your gear tab will show as your outfit. If you want to use an outfit, you just click outfit one and like that, my character is in outfit one. So you just click and it'll automatically switch. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, that's what that does. Okay. So now that you know where the outfit slots are, let's talk about how to use them. Um, all right, so I've not used this one yet. I did use that one. Okay, so I've not put anything into outfit eight yet. So I'm gonna put in this outfit. So I just right click all of the items that I want and they'll go here. You can also um, drag them if you prefer. And the outfit will have a build cost. So every item you add, it'll cost a little more credits um, to build the outfit. And now they've also added the weapon slot. So I just crafted this lightsaber on Artifice. Um, Artifice crafting weapons is actually useful now, which is, I'm very happy for that. So I'm gonna put this uh, lightsaber here. So the stats on that don't matter, it's just uh, cosmetic. And so the build cost is a little up for, for that. And so I'm gonna put commit. And again, it'll warn me because these items are not bound that if I do put them in the outfit, they will bind to my character. So I'll click OK. And now my character has that outfit. But let's say I'm not the biggest fan of, of that helmet. So if you go to that outfit, for any piece of gear, um, Nope, I stand, I, I'm wrong. For only the head slot, <laughs> you can you can toggle um, it on or off. For the other pieces of gear, actually the covert set, which um, I recommend getting if you like outfits, um, is basically invisible gear. So if you don't want, and I don't know why they did it this way, where you can toggle the head, but you have to put invisible gear on other slots, but that's the way they did it. So say I don't like this belt, I can just put an invisible belt there. And you might ask why not just put nothing there? And the reason is if you put nothing there, then the belt that you have equipped as your gear will show through. So you need a cosmetic invisible belt. And, and then it'll get rid of that belt on your character. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with um, all the pieces, but now I wanna dye the outfit. Um, so with dyes, there are three things to keep in mind. Number one, any dye you use, whether it's a stamp dye or a dye in a, in a gear piece, that dye will be consumed and you can never get it back. It'll stay in the piece of gear if you put it in gear but you can never take it out. You can replace it with another die, but you can never get that die back in your inventory once it's used. It's important to keep in mind that the chest piece is important. So if, if you want to dye a whole outfit one color, you only need to dye the chest piece. And the reason is because of this little checkbox here. You can click for any piece of gear, um, unify to chest color theme. So any color, that the chest piece is, um, all of the other pieces can unify. Or you can click unify colors and just, that'll just unify all of them. What you wanna do is control right click the actual piece of gear in your inventory and then put the die in the piece of gear. So let's say I want primary purple and I think it's good to go. 
Yes, all right, there's the purple dye in there. So now I can actually just drag this over and the, the purple chest piece will replace the old one. So I'll commit. And now the chest piece is purple and I can unify or just click unify and now everything will apply that primary purple dye. So let's say that this um, purple dye is super valuable and I, I don't want to lose it. I want to keep it in, in the item. So it's in this chest piece, but I want to change um, the color of my outfit um, for this character. So I can control right click on the chest piece and I can drag in another die. So this is called stamping. So this is a, a stamped die. And what that means is you're putting the die in the outfit slot, but it's not in the gear. And so the die that's already in the gear will stay there. Um, but you'll still get to use this other die on your outfit. So, okay, I'm going to hit apply and and now you can see that the die in the gear is different from the die in the outfit. So stamp die are just on the outfit and die in the gear is in the gear and it'll stay there until it's replaced. And I'm not actually sure how that works with weapons. So I'm going to test that right now. So I have my weapon here with no crystal. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's not letting me like stamp a crystal. I guess you can paint over paints, but you can't uh, crystal over crystal. So I'll put the crystal in here and then, oops, then I will drag it over. And now I have a pink lightsaber. So now I'm happy. Okay. So for weapons, you have to put the crystal in, um, then put it in the outfit for outfits, put the die in on the chest piece throw that in. Unify, if you want to dye other pieces, you can dye those gear pieces and put them in. Um, you can also stamp dyes on uh, pieces or the chest piece of an outfit if you don't want them all to be unified to that one color. And you can unclick which ones you want to unify. You can hide helmet and you can use the covert items to um, make gear pieces invisible. So I hope this helps you on your outfit collecting space adventure and may the force be with you. Bye.